welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna show you how to make a delicious chopino. So please stay tuned and let me show you how. You wanna begin this dish by first making your seafood stock. I used the shrimp shells from the shrimp. I added some fresh herbs, a little bit of garlic cloves, and some salt, and allow that to cook for a minimum of 30 minutes. You can also use clam juice. Now, in a large pot, you wanna add your extra virgin olive oil. I diced up, I wanna say about three shallots. If you cannot find shallots, you guys, just use some yellow onion. I would say about half. And um, just, um, you know, dice it up pretty finely and cook it down on medium to low heat. You do not want to get any, like, um, like you don't wanna caramelize them, but you want them to turn translucent. So just toss them around. For about five to seven minutes, I added some salt to start breaking them down. And um, yeah, once they turn translucent, we can move on to our next step, which is um, adding in our seasonings. And I like to add my seasonings during this step, especially when using dry. It just allows them to bloom, you know? And um, I added also a teaspoon of crushed red pepper flakes. Now, if that is, if you don't like spicy food, I would say go with half of that amount and you can always add some later. And um, yeah, just give it a toss. Um, add some additional extra virgin olive oil because we're gonna throw in our garlic. I um, thinly sliced about six cloves because I was not shy this time. <laughs> And um, yeah, you guys, by slicing it instead of mincing it, you're definitely going to get that really strong garlic flavor. But this broth, it's all about the broth. <laughs> Let me tell you, it's super yummy, super delicious, and you want it. You know, every base of any good soup starts with onions and garlic. <laughs> so go ahead. Once you can smell it, it is done. You can add in your vino. I used about a cup and a half. Now, if you do not like to use wine or you just don't have any handy, just make sure to add additional more um, seafood stock. But the wine does make all these flavors pop. Um, once it has cooked down by about half, um, then we can add in our seafood stock, which has been cooking for minimum of 30 minutes to an hour, which is best. <laughs> so go ahead and strain it and throw it in. My little pot had a little strainer on the side, so I just did it this way. And you're going to need about five cups. So if you're using clam juice, just use accordingly. And um, yeah, you want to go ahead and start bringing this to a boil. So turn up your heat to medium high um, in the meantime i did puree one large can of san marzano whole tomatoes and it's very important to use that brand you guys i'm not advertising it's just they're just harvested at their peak so use those um, you can also buy them crushed i just think the whole ones if you puree them yourself they're just extra yummy um, i added in some fresh rosemary a bay leaf and i seasoned with some black um, freshly cracked black pepper i did not want to add any additional salt not until towards the end um, because i didn't want this to be overly salty you can always add you guys but you cannot take out so just be mindful of that and um yeah just go ahead give it a toss cover it up let it cook for about 20 minutes and then we can start adding in our seafood and you want to make sure that this is piping hot um you want to start with first your clams since those take the longest and with clams you just want to give them a very good scrub with cold water add them in cover the pot after seven minutes they should all be opened if they do not open toss them out it means they're not good <laughs> um so yeah next i added in my crab legs and you guys these are a must <laughs> you can use any type of seafood in this um chopino but i recommend you need them crab legs <laughs> and then um those are already cooked so they don't have to cook for very long then i chopped up i want to say a pound and a half of a wild salmon and wow didn't that look beautiful the bright red color i'm pretty sure it's food coloring but still <laughs> don't <laughs> let me dream <laughs> then i added in um two pounds of my shrimpies because you know we need a, a lot of seafood i didn't want any of the seafood broth to go to waste and the shrimp are an 
excellent addition. You can also add scallops, you can add halibut, any type of seafood I would say works really well in here, including calamari. Um, I add, I then added some fresh parsley and um, yeah, you guys, uh, we're at the finish line. So a fresh squeeze of lemon juice. I used about, um, I wanna say, one one full lemon and it's lemon juice um you can also add the zest as well you guys for some extra flavor and yeah you guys you want to cover this up and allow it to cook for an additional um five to seven minutes until all your seafood is cooked in the meantime go ahead and toast up a baguette i like to grill some lemon wedges as well and here we are you guys super yummy super delicious it is an amazing dish if you are showing up to somebody's house um this is a showstopper you guys <laughs> and um yeah you want to um you can move the seafood around make sure that everything's cooked but as you can see everything is perfectly cooked in that delicious broth so it's all gonna have that delicious flavor but go ahead and give it a taste you go first <laughs> and here we are you guys i really hope that you guys give this a try so we're at the end and i just want to thank you guys so much for watching i hope everyone is having a safe and fun holiday season and i will see you guys next time bye